and welcome to another show. Today on the show we're going to be talking about line plots. A line plot is a graph. Remember what a graph is? That shows your data in a visual representation. And you're probably saying, what is data? That's the information you got from a survey. And a survey are the questions that you ask. For example, maybe you asked uh, people, uh, 10 students, what their favorite color is. And they might have said red, blue, or green. You take that information and then you present it on a graph. And today we're doing line plots. The first thing you have to do with a line plot is have a title. So our title is Books Read in One Week. So I asked students how many books they read in one week. And so I had two students say they had they read two books in one week. I had one student uh, um, read three books. Then I had five students read four books. Then I had two students read five books. And then I had one student read six books. So a couple uh, questions you might you know, ask when you have your line plot, you can figure out, okay, how many uh, people um, were in the survey? How many students uh, participated? So we can count that up very easily. We can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We had eleven students participate in this survey. But most of our students were right here. We had five students read four books. Now, when you're making a line plot, you want to choose these numbers appropriately. So that means I probably did not want to make a line plot that went from zero to a thousand. I don't think I'd have many students in second grade uh, read a thousand books in one week. Um, so you want to choose this information here wisely and, you know, try to plan it out. But usually, um, in, you know, you have this information in your uh, workbooks already. So this is a great way to show your information um, visually. So let's do another plot. Okay, we've got a new line plot. Our title is Favorite Pet. So I asked some students in the classroom what their favorite pet was. So I had three students that had a cat. That was their favorite pet. And then I had four students say they had dogs. So I put X's. Okay. I asked, how many students in this classroom have a pet T-Rex? And none of them said that they had a T-Rex. And that's a good idea. I would not recommend uh, having a T-Rex as a pet because they get really hungry, and I don't think your mom or dad are going to, you know, like that, that you have a T-Rex. So, um, no T-Rexes as pets. What about fish? We had three students say they had fish. Uh, two of them had a goldfish, and another student had some guppies. So, once again, let's figure out how many students participated in this um, survey. So, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We had ten students participate. We had three students that had cats. We had four students, one, two, three, four students that had dogs, zero students that had T-Rexes, and three students that had fish. So we can find out a lot of information from our line plot. Line plots are a great way to show the information visually. Hey, I got some other great videos on my channel, some cool math videos and drawing videos. And like always, I hope you have a great day. Adios, bye-bye.